Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about searching objects or renaming objects. And it's not totally about X8 and above, but X8 and above, X8 and X9 have changed it where you can see a curve. In an X7, it's just gonna tell you a curve. Now, in other lower versions, it's gonna show a little rectangle, but in X8 and above, it actually shows you that it's a, a blackened curve. But the video is about renaming so I've got a seven and a half inch rectangle. Here I just have a rectangle. Well, I can right click on my mouse and I can rename it to a, you know, if you, you could wipe the whole thing out or you could just start typing seven inch and hit enter. Now, so if you had a bunch of these and you wanted to look at all the seven inch rectangles or delete the seven inch rectangles, you could just click on that, hold down your shift key, click on that and delete them by size. So you could rename this. But the big deal is in all other ones below, it's gonna show you a rectangle, but when you convert it to a curve and change that curve, let's make this a weird looking shape. Now you can, I don't know if you can see that in the monitor, so I'm gonna fill it in with blue. Now you get that shape and you know exactly what it is. I mean, it could be a star or a rectangle. Here's a polygon. Let's do a star. And now in all other, I believe in uh, a lot of versions below, it's gonna give you a little star. But once you convert it to a curve, it's just gonna show you a little curve line in like X7 and below. So we really changed that curve up and we got that. So this is really about renaming objects. Uh, like if you wanted to rename that one, you could delete or hit right click and just put star oddball or something and uh, make it anything you want. But it's pretty neat to have the little icon pictures, but then you could name them. And if you were looking through here for the seven and a half inch circles, this would really only help you if you had pages and pages or a lot of rectangles on a page. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.